Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Boxing Day, happy Wednesday. Back in action here at Jaspies. We're doing 2018 Panini Donners Optic Football. Six box, half case, pick your random team, not pick your team, random team number four. You see all these marked four. It's the second half of the case. We have not seen the RPA yet. So it should be in this side. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. One spot gets you two teams in this six boxer. And all football teams are in. Let's randomize each list. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Paul Nixon, the coach. Paul Nixon down to Drew. Five and a one, six times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One. Two, three, four, five, and a one six times. Buccaneers down to the Steelers. All right, so Paul, <clears throat> Paul, I'm losing my voice. Paul, can't be losing my voice this early. Buccaneers, Lindsay, Saints, William, Niners. Lindsay, Jets, Drew, Packers, William, Bartle, Panthers. Mm-hmm. And all hands around. And William Bartle with the Bears. Dwayne, Patriots, and Browns. Chad with the Vikings. William with the Seahawks. Mike Gallucci. My Raiders. Rick Barker, you got the Colts. Paul, you got the Jags. Chad with the Broncos. Paul with the Dolphins. Rick with the Eagles. Um, David, you got Bills and Giants. William with the Chargers. Michael Gallucci with the Titans. Chad, you got the Falcons and Bengals. Patrick with the Ravens, William with the Lions, Patrick with the Redskins, Cardinals and Chiefs for Michael Gallucci, Patrick K, one of your other last spot mojo, Texans, Paul Nixon, Cowboys, and Drew with the Steelers. So trades are allowed. Let me alphabetize this by team. So we'll give it a few moments to trade. All right, Mark's reporting that contenders basketball is down to three. First to fill, first to break. It's going to be either Optic Football or Contenders Basketball. One or the other. Can't do both now, I'm afraid. We don't have the time. Maybe Cowboys, Eagles. Not sure. I haven't seen Paul in the chat today. And Andrew's saying Optic is to two. It's a race to the finish. First to fill, first to break. All right, looks like no trades. Let's close it up. Trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Is the final printout break four on Boxing Day? Same as what you saw on the screen before, just officially printed out. There you go. Good luck, everybody. After this, will be a full case break of 2018 playbook football, which should be a lot of fun. And then we've got about an hour left in the broadcast. If you're watching live, an hour left after those two breaks, this one and playbook football. And we only have time to do one more hour-long break. So it's going to be one or the other. Contenders Basketball, the brand new release, or Donner's Optic Football. Sorry, David and Rick. Trade window is closed. We closed it about a couple minutes before you guys... Make sure you're uh, watching live, ladies and gentlemen. I think it looks like, looks like David and Rick may be lagging behind a little bit, which is why they missed that trade window. All 
All right. Good luck, everyone. There's Sam Darnold for the Jets out of 50. We'll have these sleeved and top loaded before they go out. Bo Scarborough Fair to 299. Miles Garrett for the Browns. That is to 299. Nice downtown Deshaun Watson. Texans. That'll be for Patrick K and the Texans. That's last spot mojo. Nice. Texans. Jacksonville at Houston. I think Texans are already. Oh, any guesses on that redemption? Are Texans already in? I have not remembered all of these playoff permutations here. Yeah, Texans have a have a spot. So I guess Jaguars win this one? I don't know. Week seven, the last week of the season, especially if, you know, for entertainment purposes only you enjoy Wagering a little, a dollar or two here, here and there, becomes pretty difficult in the last week of the season. Who has, who's motivated, who's not, who has, you know, who has playoff implications, what, which coach is going to get even a team with the slimmest of chances fired up for the game. Who knows? Maybe Bill O'Brien's going to rest some guys. Redemption. Is Kalen Balaj, rated rookies autograph, hollow. That'll be for the Dolphins. Paul Nixon. All right, next box, box two. Random team four. Uh, there probably will be another random team, but I think we have a number, a few more cases of this Donner's Optic football left. So I'm sure we'll see another random team break for you fans of random teams. Keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for that one. So, so talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, folks. What, uh, what are the big playoff implication games this weekend? Colts, Titans. That's a big one, right? Colts and Titans are both sitting at nine and six, and I think a win gets them a playoff spot. Win, win and in. Is that how it works? That is a, it's a Sunday night game. That should be a good one. We got DNIP 1985 in here. There you go. Dennis says, go Bears. Where are the Bears playing? Bears are at Minnesota. Wait, what are the Bears going to do? Are they going to rest them? I think they're, they've, they're already locked for a playoff spot. Are they going to rest some guys, maybe? Oh, if Bears win and Rams lose, Bears will get the bye week. Who are the Rams playing? Rams are hosting the Niners. Interesting. I don't know. Are the Niners going to beat the Rams? I don't know. If the, are the Rams going to rest players? RPA is in here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. What if the Rams rest players? I don't. What if Gurley? They rest Todd Gurley? Niners want to end the season on a strong note. They're well. They're a well-coached team. Might keep them motivated for the last week of the season to finish strong. We got Nick Chubb for the Browns. Speaking of the Browns, Andrew Herman saying, Browns with the wild card. Cle if Browns get the wild card, Cleveland burns to the ground. Not literally, but yeah, they'll be pretty happy. What happens if... What happens if the... Uh, what, like, what are the Browns scenarios? Speaking of the Niners, there's Jimmy Garoppolo downtown for the Niners. That'll go to William Bartle. 
Any guesses or hopes for that RPA? There's Anthony Miller for the Bears to 299. Josh Allen for the Bills to 50. If the Browns win and Pittsburgh win, then Pittsburgh gets in. Wait, no. Mark Nation is there's Doug Baldwin. Mark Nation saying for the Browns to make the they win, Steelers win, and Titans and Colts would have to tie. That's crazy. Well, who's the, who are the Steelers playing? And Steelers' chance was last week. Their chance was last week. Steelers are hosting the Bengals. Well, the Steelers should win, right? There's Vaughn Miller out of one ninety nine. And Red Robbie Anderson to 99. He had a great game. I managed to keep him on the bench for my fantasy team and still win the fantasy championship for my league, Money League. Got lucky. All right. And behind that guy is Jamon Moore. Two-color patch and autograph. Nice RPA for Drew and the Packers. That's the uh, that's the one per case. Eleven out of thirty-five on that one. Nice. All right, next box. So Pittsburgh should beat the Bengals, though, right? Maybe. Those Bengals want to play spoiler. Oh, here is an article on ESPN.com by Jeremy Fowler, ESPN staff writer, saying Steelers forced to root for Baker Mayfield and fierce rivals Browns. In the uncomfortable position of needing to uh, needing help to make the playoffs, the Steelers are sending good vibes. The Cleveland Browns' way. That's just such an odd sentence. The Steelers can clinch the AFC North with a win Sunday over the Bengals, coupled with a Cleveland Browns win over the Ravens. Pray for Cleveland and pray for the Browns, said safety Sean Davis with a smile before stressing the Steelers are focusing on beating Cincinnati. Baker, or Davis... Sean Davis added that he might have to send Baker Mayfield, quote, a little something something as a gift if the rookie quarterback and the AFC Offensive Player of the Week can pull off the feet in Baltimore. Steelers, 8-6-1, relinquished the North after losing 31-28 to the Saints on Sunday in their fourth loss in five games. Meanwhile, the Ravens, 9-6, and six, have won five of their last six games but face a hot Brown team that's riding a three-game winning streak. Steelers can also make the playoffs with a tie against the Bengals, a Ravens loss or a win over Cincinnati combined with a tie between the Colts and the Titans. Browns last defeated the Ravens in 2015. Speaking of play crazy races, another crazy race, reporting Andrew, both contenders basketball, brand new Panini contenders basketball, and a full case Donner's optic football holding at two teams each. First to fill, first to break. You can only squeeze one of those breaks in, ladies and gentlemen. There's Derek Carr to 149. It'll be one or the other, not both. Michael Gallup to 299. And Deshaun Hamilton, rated rookie autograph. Mark Nation says, let's go Optic. Ellie saying that the Ravens are going down. 65 out of 75. Deshaun Hamilton. Uh, Oppo Joe Mojo. Chad Stork got randomized the Broncos in this one.
There's Michael Thomas for the Saints. Orange. Michael Gallup. Not numbered, but parallel nonetheless. Trey Quinn out of 199. Odell Beckham Jr. and Vita Vea. There's Odell Beckham Jr. 299. Three boxes go halfway through this uh, half case break. This is random team four. Full case of playbook coming up after this. And looks like we're down to the Pistons in contenders basketball. Will that be the first break? Will it be Donner's Optic Football pushed to tomorrow, the full caser? Push it tomorrow. Which will it be? The last break of the night is in one of your hands, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks to Andrew, Thomas, Lou, and Rick uh, for getting spots in those breaks. Listen, folks, if something if some, we have to push one of the breaks till tomorrow, it's okay. I'm back tomorrow. It'll be a good thing to start off the day with a break. That, that, that builds a nice bit of momentum at the beginning of the night. All right, here we go. Next box. There's Shaquem Griffin out of 199. Got my Seattle Seahawks over eight wins. Happy about that, I believe. Nice Saquon Barkley downtown. Who got randomized the Giants in this one? David Allison, there you go. There's Marius Thomas. Durham Smith to 149. Nice one there. There's Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer, rated rookie autograph. Five out of 35? 35. Nice. Steelers. Drew with the Steelers. Jameis Winston. To 199. There's my boy Derek Carr to 149. Hello, Seal Curtain, what's going on? What, what, what wasn't very nice? Oh, wait, do you have the Steelers in the next break? Two boxes to go. All right, next one. Pulling the Mason of this random team. Maybe there'll be a... Could be a lower numbered one in the next one. Enough, enough Masons for all. All right. Two boxes to go. I don't see an order after Rick Barker, so no one's filling out. No, no one's selling out a break. We're only going to be able to do either the optic football or the brand new contenders basketball. I'm leaning towards the my vote. 
doesn't matter what I think, but my vote would be uh, would be for the basketball just because it's a new release. But either one. We can do basketball all day tomorrow. Knock out the football tonight, do the basketball tomorrow. Let's do the new release tonight, knock out all the football tomorrow. Either way, works. No checklist for the basketball, I'm afraid. I think that might be one of the ro re reasons why people are hesitating a little bit. But um, just kind of think, look at some of the more recent um, basketball releases, like Prism Basketball. Should be a relatively similar checklist, in ter especially in terms of the rookies. I don't know what kind of different players are in there, but some of the key rookies will still be the same. It was, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, Christmas was great. How was yours? How was your holiday? Visited my sister in Vegas. And, um, and it was really nothing super crazy, just eating a lot of food. The wind buffet was great. Gambling, of course, it's Vegas. All right, um, yeah. Let's open both boxes at once. Uh, oh, is there a spot random for Contenders 1? Was no one buying out those teams straight up, so they're in a spot random now? I guess they're in a spot random now, folks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Chance to get the Suns and the Kings for a fraction of the price. It's pretty much a filler. So oh, no one's pulling the trigger on the uh, on the full price version of those teams, but maybe maybe that'll spark some interest for the people who want to get those big teams for a fraction of the price. So either way, first to fill, first to break, either one. Nice, kids were super excited to steal curtain. Um, what was the what was the holiday gift of the year, Seal Curtain? What was what was the winner in the in the curtain household? A Hatchimal, maybe? I don't know how old your I forget how old your kids are. Hatchimals? Video games, perhaps? Some Westlaw book case books? Can give him some Westlaw books. That'll be good. All right, so last two boxes right here. Good luck, everybody. And well, Malik Jefferson is our first autograph right out of the gate. That's a good gift, Andrew. Nice. Andrew's wife got him a color rush jersey. AJ Green jersey. Nice. All right. Out of 35, Malik Jefferson Bengals. That'll be Cat Team Mojo for Chad Stork. Interesting. So so the eight and six year old wanted some uh, some Fitbits more than anything, which they got nice. Not that good. Encur encourage uh, some exercising for the kids. It's always good. There's Equinamia St. Brown out of 199. That goes to the Packers. And the four year old got a bunch of Hot Wheels. Kind of wish I got some Hot Wheels this year, Seal Curtain. Out of 299. How are the Hot Wheels quality? Remember back in the day, they were like die cast metal. I don't know, maybe there was poison in them back in the day. <laughs> maybe they're safer now. <laughs> Todd Gurley, out of one ninety out of two ninety, I managed to win my fantasy championship with Todd Gurley on the bench. It was an ugly game. Me and my buddy were texting back and forth. Out of fifty, Dion Lewis. It was it was bad. 
It was probably the lowest scoring game of the year, and that was the championship. <laughs> There's Julio, Julio Jones, Julio, 121 out of 199. Jameson Crowder out of 299. DJ Left Shark to 299. And the last box. Good luck, everybody. Cedric Wilson Jr., Refractor, Duran, House of Pain. Kid Reporters, Marquise Goodwin to 199, Devontae Booker to 99. No auto yet. What's our last auto going to be, boys and girls? Return of the Mac, Marlon Mack. There's DJ Left Shark to 149. There's Rashad Penny, Black Velocity to 25 for the Seahawks. Derwin James, possible defensive rookie of the year. Derwin James, Chargers with that parallel. Still haven't seen the auto. There's Sean Lee, no relation. Jarek McKinnon. There it is. Lamar Jackson. Wow. In a random team break. That is for Patrick K and the Ravens. Nice. That's a hot time to get Lamar Jackson. Action Jackson. That's 28 out of 35. With the wild card that he brings on offense and that Ravens defense, could this be... Could there be could there be a Super Bowl run for those guys? And that's it, folks. That's a nice half case break of 2018 Donner's Optic Football by Panini. Great stuff. We got full case versions in the store, and I'm sure we will uh, have more random team versions in the store as well. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll break more with you next time. Bye bye.